I'm Raymond Hinst, co-owner and historian of Haslam's Bookstore in St. Petersburg, Florida. Well, it all started with my great-grandmother. She was the one with the brains, uh, Mary Haslam. And my great-grandfather, John Haslam, he was the one that lifted things for her. She put them right over here. And she had the business acumen. And one day there was a real estate magnate that had uh, gone bust in the Depression, and he needed to go back up to New England, but he didn't want to take this big library with him. Beautiful leather-bound books. So my great-grandmother, Mary, gave him every penny they had and got his books. And she rented them for two cents a day. And that way people kept coming back in. She was Blockbuster before Blockbuster. I'm Ray Hinst co-owner of Haslam's Bookstore. My wife and I are the third generation and my son Raymond is the fourth generation. There's so few multi-generational businesses uh, because I think they, they may be difficult to do. Um, but in our case, it's been successful. My grandfather, he came down from uh, Rhode Island, joined the family business uh, as a young gentleman. He went off to World War II and when he got out of World War II, he came and took over the business. And they were naturals for it. Um, and uh, they had been doing it for, for quite some time when they invited another 20 years, when they invited us, uh, my wife and I, and her brothers and sisters to come, to come join. Um, we all came and she and I were the ones who stayed. We're Florida's largest used bookstore and we get a constant flow of used books in all the time. It's sort of the lifeblood because you never know what's going to come in. What Someone will ask you for something and then the next day it'll come in in somebody's boxes. There it is, right there. Um, it's a wonderful product. Um, if you're going to sell something, I don't think you can sell anything better than, than, than a book. Um, the, the rewards are tangible. Oh, just recently, a woman came into the front, front of the store and she saw me halfway down the main corridor and came up to me and started crying and gave me a hug and said, you don't remember me. And, and I said, well, no, you, I was in here and I was looking for a book and you recommended something that I wasn't even looking for. And she said, it changed my life. Haslam's is unique because, uh, well, we've been around for so long, for 85 years, listening to everybody about what they like to read, what they want, what things they're interested in, and uh, a lot of them have become very close to us. We're a part of the fabric of this neighborhood, this community. We represent everything that everybody's interested in. And so the books we carry are the things that everybody who lives around us, it comes to us, that they're interested in. We've continued to grow just like the city has for 85 Five years, just a little bit over, and we still have some books that are on the shelves that sometimes they're like 50 years they've been sitting there. Years ago, um, we had some customers come in, and um, they 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 thought that there was some odd odd feelings going on. One of the media centers here in the area found out about it as as. Uh, Halloween approached and so they sent uh, their, uh, their uh, anchor out and he brought his crew and they brought a seeress with them. They asked her to go and see what she found and sensing around the store and when, when she finished and she was standing there she glanced down at the biography section and saw a picture of, of Jack Kerouac on the cover of, of one of the, his biographies. She said that's the man. From that time on we have tried to stay aware of, of what's going on but it's live and let live here um, and uh, it's just a sort of an, an added thing that occasionally manifests itself and that's it. That's the plan is for another 80 years or at least another hundred for this store. You know every day we get to meet people who are interested in fascinating things and we get to help them further them on their journey and there really isn't much else that's for us, that's that rewarding. We don't see the book going away. We think that's still going to be a viable methodology for us to, to pass on to successive generations what, what we've learned and what we've experienced. And that's, that's key to the survival of civilization. And our role in it, we help get those things out to people.